They were brought together by a photo. I can't tell you what a pleasure this is. <laughs> yes, you do so much like your dad. How it helped two men reconnect with important parts of their past. Yeah, a man who lives in New York had questions about his father's past, and it turned out the answers were here with a World War II veteran living in Metro Detroit. Well, their connection traces back to the Battle of Iwo Jima, which started 70 years ago this week. And Roger Weber shows us the remarkable way the two finally got together. All right, Dad, pretend like Don Walters spent most of his 91 years putting Iwo Jima behind him, but now his Hazel Park home is full of wartime memories. Once the rain, always the rain. The flag raising on Iwo Jima could be the most powerful war photograph ever taken. Another image directly below it is forgotten by all but a few, but Walters knows it well, and so does Bob Jansing. The anticipation is just, it's enormous, and it's been with me since I found out that Donald was alive. Jansing has traveled from Albany, New York, to meet Walters. Well, if he's anything like his dad was, he's a hell of a nice guy. Bob Jansing's father, Lester, who died in 1989, is seen in the back of a captured Japanese motorcycle. Don Walters is in front. In February of 1945, a few weeks before this photo was taken, Walters was on a troop ship in the Pacific. They got us up on deck in this small mock island, and they told us where we was going. Nobody ever heard of it before. But Iwo Jima would become famous, one of the bloodiest battles of World War II. The 5th United States Marine Division fires on Japanese gun emplacements studying the mountain. Over 26,000 Americans were killed or wounded. I said, I hope somebody up there is watching over me. A bullet passed through the seat of Don's vehicle, and a mortar shell nearly hit him as he dug in. Two other Marines were then. I didn't know who they were. They just jumped in the hole. And they were killed, and I was blown out of the hole. I didn't have a scratch on me. The beaches were taken quickly, but high in the hills, Japanese soldiers were entrenched in tunnels and caves. They'd bury a 55-gallon drum in the sand, in the dirt. And they were small enough so they could get in there. And they'd lift up the cover and take pot shots, and then they'd disappear again. Walters witnessed what he thought marked the end of the battle, the American flag planted on Mount Suribachi. And I seen that flag go up. I said, oh, we get to go home now. <laughs> that was just the start of it. Now back to that photograph. Bob Jansing has the same one at his home. When a relative posted it on social media, he learned about Don Walters. This meeting may help Bob fill in some blanks about his dad. My dad died very abruptly from a heart attack. And uh, there were things I never found out about him, particularly about the war. This sort of helps me more than anybody, I guess. I can't tell you what a pleasure this is. I guess you look so much like your dad. That's what I'm told. Uh, I swore that was the old Jansen coming in the door. <laughs> that is such a compliment to me. Lester Jansen was a quartermaster responsible for getting supplies to the island. Seventy years after Iwo Jima, Bob is learning more about his father. I asked him one time, how come you don't wear your bars? And uh, he says, oh, I get tired of saluting. Bob took his own video, capturing other insights about his dad. Then... A surprise bonus. Just amazing. A photo of Lester Jansing in Don's old scrapbook. What they went through, we'll never imagine. They had to have known going in, particularly Iwo Jima, that this was going to be bad. And uh, they did it. And the courage, we will never know the courage. In Hazel Park, I'm Roger Weber, Local 4. Just remarkable, right? And the, the social media connection. That's what I, you that, know, it just, the older I get, the smaller the world gets, but right? social media makes it even smaller. Exactly right, yeah. <laughs>